Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I <laughs> don't even know how to start this. To say I have a box collection problem is a slight understatement. <laughs> well, because I make books from leftover book um, food packaging and different kinds of packaging, I you know I just save it because I don't have to buy chipboard. All right, so it's out of control. I'm trying to justify it, but <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> so I emptied out my collection because December is coming and I want to make my December book and um, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to organize this mess so I can find the right book. The other, I think the past three or four years, they've all been the same food box, and I don't remember which one it is, and with the stuff the way it's organized in the basket, it's just, I, I don't know how to explain this. You guys tell me I'm not alone, please. All right, so my husband drinks a lot of um, this kind of stuff. Well, oh, I guess you can't see that. Uh, Crystal Light, all these drink mixes. He won't drink just, he thinks water's for bathing and brushing his teeth. That's all it's good for. So he drinks flavored waters with all these different things and then gives me the box. Now I have stopped collecting these probably a year ago, but it doesn't matter because <laughs> there's like a ton of these things. All right, so I'm gonna try to organize this stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I will fast forward you through this while I watch BritBox, and then we'll see what happens after that. <laughs> what a mess. Okay, this is what I store all those things in here. And it says packaging for journals. Packing for journals. I don't know why I labeled it that. So this is it. Everything goes this way. And I try to do it according to height so that I can find things. And this is kind of crazy because I suppose it doesn't really matter because there's so much of it. <laughs> all right, that's tall. <laughs> that goes in the back. And then this stuff... It's very heavy duty chipboard. So I think what I will do is I'll just put my packaging, the envelope in there and then put this one in there that kind of keeps them together. And then after that, it's a free for all. I just don't know where to start. There's so much stuff. Um, I tried to do, you know, the like shorter stuff together. And this is gonna keep happening till I get enough stuff in here. So let me start with some of the shorter things since I have plenty of it. I started collecting this stuff, I don't know, four or five years ago. It's taken a while to amass this amount of stuff. Whoops, wrong thing. But I haven't had to buy a lot of commercial chipboard because of this. And the reason um, some of these are folded up is because when they're stretched out, they're longer than the, um, let me see if I can do it this way. They're longer than the inside of this basket. Okay, so it would be better if I just put them like this, some of them like this, and some of them are just way too, uh, way too long. This will help to tie down some of the um, thickness. Let me see. And then I have little bitty pieces inside. What's this one? That's a yellow cake mix. Okay, so I'll put this one in the front. I think I can do this. Yeah, okay. And then, oh, rubber band got old and deteriorated. So we need a new rubber band. 
that will eventually get old and deteriorate. I mean, I bought rubber bands from all different companies and they all end up crapping out. See this, this basket does not, does this go up and down direct? See, I mean, it doesn't go straight up and down. So sometimes stuff is gonna fit like that. Sometimes it won't. Depends on what I got going on here. All right, I think maybe I need to call these. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Man, I hate throwing this stuff away. Some of these boxes are the perfect size. Others, you know, I did throw away some stuff um, because it's just not going to work for me. This is tall, so this might have to go in the back. Yep. These guys are kind of tall. Let's see, Oreo cookies. I've stopped eating Oreo cookies. Well, not completely, but enough that I don't, I just don't save any of this stuff anymore. And when some, somebody offers to send me stuff, I'm like, well, maybe not. <laughs> and then some boxes I say yes, because they're not boxes that I can find around here. Put that in there, yeah. Um, some boxes I save that, you know, other people get other places that I can't get or that I especially like because they hold up really well to being messed with. You know, glued and tugged on and so on and so forth. Too tall. Here. Mind you, this is not a perfect system, but this is what I'm working with for now because I don't know what else to do with this stuff. I mean, I, I seriously, I don't want to get rid of any of it. So my justification is if it's organized, it's not... Hoard. <laughs> I'm not the only one who thinks like that, right? I mean, we'll justify anything as long as we want to keep it, don't we? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Please tell me I'm not the only one because I'm feeling a little bit um, crazy by doing all of this. Okay, so these are some of the smaller ones that are a little bit on the short side that I can put in the front here. All right, these, I don't remember seeing duplicates for these. Here's Lipton soap. Oh, here, I'm gonna put this one with the soup and I'll stretch these out because it'll make it a little bit flatter in the basket, a little bit better. But I wanna keep them together because they're like things. Here's the butter, which is gonna be shorter than this. So will it be shorter than anything else? Oh, there we go. This is a little bit short. So I'm going to move these to the front, although they're very wide. Okay. Let's do this. This is kind of tallish. That's tall. Burr. Um, if you guys don't collect boxes and you need some, <laughs> call 1 800 Vicky's Order. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how many of the stuff I had until I started doing this. Oh my god. I mean, I knew it was a lot, but I didn't even know it was a lot. This is crazy. Plum crazy. But, well, in the year 2023, I'm going to spend a lot of time making books. And I don't want to buy chipboard because I'm trying not to spend money on art supplies this year again. And so I feel, is there a Ritz cracker box in here? I feel like this will be just as good. Well, not as great as um, using commercial chipboard. But hey, you know what? I've already paid for this once. Why wouldn't I use it? There we go. Um, I think I could get rid of this one, although it is darn cute. See, I had these itty bitty ones that are leftovers from other boxes where I chopped off other boxes like this. This is going to go in the garbage. Um, let me put this in my with my little stuff because I just can't let go of it. <laughs> oh wait, what are these? Oh, I got those. Oh, those sure gel. I know who those came from. She was into canning and she gave them to me because I was so excited. They were something that I don't do. All right, this is um, 
This is a pasta box. It had that uh, cellophane window in it. And I covered it with some kind of wackadoo paper I had and never finished it. So this is going to go in the back so that I can remind myself to try to finish it. Um, these things here, let me grab these. This stuff going in the garbage. Um, I got rid of the Safeguard soap boxes because I can't take the smell. What else? These are little, oh, this is going to go in the trash. These are little bitty ones that I'll just stick in the front. And then I have the miscellaneous cardboard. Do I really need to save these? Because, like, you know, they come in the mail all the time. Oh, I'm struggling, struggling. Okay, I'm going to keep them. <laughs> I'll put them in the back. <laughs> and I'll put the Spectrum Noir stuff in the back. I've gotten rid of those. All right, so the, these are... These are books that were gutted. I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to do anything with these. Let's face it, I have so much of this. Why would I need these? I don't know. I'm struggling here. I'm struggling. Let's see, there's another tiny one. Let's put that in there. Bitty bitty. Then I have these because of this. I made a journal for myself and someone else and I used the uh, sugar bags for covers because I thought it was so clever. I thought it was a great idea. So here's the bleach, I mean bleach. Here is the flower one. It needs to be ironed. And then here is another brand of sugar. So I'm going to save these because we we don't eat a lot of sugar here. The most, mostly the reason we buy sugar now is to feed the um, hummingbirds. We just don't use a lot of sugar because I quit baking. Um, but I don't want to get rid of this because I might be able to use this. You know how um, you can put rubber bands? And that's what I did with, with the other one is I used rubber. No, wait, I'm looking up here to look at it. Nope, I sewed signatures in it. But another one, I did put rubber bands in the 10 pound uh, flowers, flower I see up there. There are two, one, two, two rubber bands in that one. And the smaller one that I made that's like this, not quite as wide, I did put three signatures and I did so five stitch, five stitch pamphlet stitch in it. So they are useful. Because I put traveler's journals in here, I will slide them in another cover and then take them out and store them in here. Like if I do a year's worth of something or I do the all black journals or all something journals and I do them over the few years and I have like three or four of them, I will put a rubber band in them or a hair tie and then just put them in here together or sew them into here so that I have the whole collection for a one, one year and I'll just put the year I made them all on here like 2021 and then I'll know what I'm looking for and I'll say this is the tra black paper traveler's journals 2021 that way I can find them but I am going to save these because I just love doing these so I don't think I'm going to save these and I know people are going to be screaming in horrors oh my god look she's throwing away the books I am never going to do anything with these I just know myself I know I am not going to use these. I could save the book boards and then use something. Oh, stop it, Vicki. This is how you got in this predicament. And I am going to get rid of this, too. No, I'm not. I'll throw these away. And I'll keep this. I know I have another one of these somewhere. That's Yep, here it is right there. The, I thought these boxes were so beautiful. The gold, they're so pretty. I'm not a shiny glitter feather sequin blingy girl, but for some reason, oh, these are, uh, what are these? These Chinese? I think these are Chinese something that came in here and you got the Chinese writing here and who can pass that up? I can't. All right, so that's it. I'm done. So I'll show you what we look like. Urgh once we get everything back in here. So I'm gonna put this stuff in the back so I can remember it's there and I'm gonna cut this one down. This 
one's not going to go all the way down. There we go. Ugh. Much better. I can't get it all in here, but take my word for it. It's, it looks much better than it did. And I still have not found the box for my Christmas journal. <laughs> okay, so uh, I went to the bookcase. Well, the shadow box. I store these in. And these are the last three years that I did Christmas journals. And I just wanted to preserve any Christmas cards that I got from friends. This was last year's. And there are two honking signatures. Look at that. <laughs> and this is bowed. <laughs> I gave this journal what for? Anyway, so I couldn't remember what box that I used to put this stuff together with. And I had to go back and look at an old video from a Christmas past to find it so that I could um, put my Christmas card I mean, so I could put my Christmas book together. So I hope this isn't dry rotted. Um, so here is my... Oh, and there it goes. Okay, well... Um, so these. this is uh, 2021. I don't know if I put the years in here. I should... Oh, 2000, uh, 2019. This is 2021. I wonder if this is 2020. Oh, poo. I didn't put it. Did I not put a year in here? Okay, so I'm going to have to go back and look through my old videos and see if I can put the year in here for when I made this. I really had a good time making these. They were fun. And I loved putting everybody's pictures in here, all my friends. So I love putting my friends' uh, Christmas cards and things like that in here. They were just so much fun. It brings back so many memories, and I remember actually physically putting this stuff in here and deciding, sorry, deciding what to put in here and put it where because I didn't want to cut anybody's head off or <laughs> amputate an arm in the picture. So that was a lot of fun. My drawer, I have one of the wide cabinets for... Um, from Ikea and that thing is so full of Christmas stuff that I can barely close the drawer. So maybe this year will be the year that I make it so I can actually close the drawer without saying nasty grams under my breath. All right, so I don't want to do flip throughs on these because it'll be here all day, but if you can see, this one has two, two signatures, this one has two signatures and this one has three and I think this one bulges the least so maybe I should do three again all right so there's that so I had to go back and look at the past videos to find after cleaning out my box supply I had to go back and try to figure out what box I used and it's the um, Carol Shelby's chili box so here's my chili box for this year we are having wicked thunderstorms you may hear a whack wicked clack in the background but I can't do anything about it all right, so this is what my book will be made out of. Of course, it'll be like, <laughs> like that by the time I get done. But here is the book. And um, I might go ahead and start covering stuff and prepping paper and getting, thing re getting things ready for the Christmas book. And I still need to make Christmas cards because I won't get any unless I send some. You know how that is. So there we go. I have done the great clean-out organize organizing of my food boxes and found which box I made my um, Christmas book out of so I am so hippie so this will be um, divided up into different parts because it this is just too much it's a, a month-long project so it's just too much to put in one video you do not you do not want to sit around and listen to me talk the bark off of a tree about Christmas stuff so <laughs> So we'll do small snippets. All right, everybody. I will see you in part two.